you know, during my junior high school days and high school days, I just wanted to be a newsman. I was lucky enough to do that for about 45 years. I, I'm still a news junkie. It's been in my DNA since I was a little kid. Hello, Keith. How are you today? Hanging in there. Need my need my phlebotomy again. Yeah, another day. <laughs> another day. Yeah, another bag full of blood. Yeah. I get this letter and said, uh, several years ago, you agreed to be a part of a genetic study. We think there's a possibility that you might have tested positive for a certain gene. Back again. <laughs> I told Keith that he had those genetic changes that are associated with hereditary hemochromatosis. It is otherwise known as iron overload. Hemochromatosis is a treatable condition when you know about it early. So if it is not treated, then there can be a variety of irreversible um, health implications. This thing that Heredogene discovered, I didn't know anything about. I still felt fine. 10 years from now, I may have some serious problems. So it's valuable to be in the know, know where you are health-wise. Heredogene is a large-scale research study where we're trying to get genetic information from lots of people from all different ages and walks of life, and we're trying to figure out how we can better use this information to benefit people in the long run. I thought it's not going to hurt. They may learn something, they may not. I don't know. And at that point, I wasn't sure what might happen, what kind of result might be. The Heredogene study is really just the start of how do we um, help people engage with their personal risk? By being part of Heredogene, that means we can look across all the thousands of participants and find out who is it that is risk for something uh, that maybe has never been studied before. Instead of finding out when he needed a liver transplant, he was able to find out at a point where he could be treated uh, and avoid any of those major problems that were in his future. Over the years, yeah, we interview people and sometimes we're, we're, we're interviewing people in hospital beds, I mean, all over the place. And we're, we're trying to gather information from them about what they've been through and that kind of a thing. And this is one of those things where people are going to learn more and more about what, what's going on inside of us. And that's a good thing, you know? It's gonna make people live longer, feel better. I, I feel good that, you know, I'm part of that because I wouldn't have known otherwise.